Okay, so we're back to the only game where you can convert an entire populace to a religion that is solely based around drunken murders. It's prayer. Bud Light religions, damn it. The people over at prayer updated the game so that you can ruin even more lives. I kind of forgot what I had named the religion. Now I see it's regret plus Bud Light. We've got 396 followers. Now you can actually convert the world's population. Customize religion. Change follower names. What do you want to call your followers? Lord, uh, Ben. <laughs> what are the random names? Hold on, Rastafarians. I'd, I'd have to ask Google about this one. Yeah, we're just gonna go with Florida men. Now that there's an actual reason to legitimately ruin lives, we must continue onward and see how much of the populace we can convert to this. Also, I wanna build this. Yeah, what the hell, build me an altar too. Or build me like four of them. Ah, uh, the time has come to get loyal followers by killing the people that have wronged them. I just wanted to say thank you. I just realized this guy's name is Tommy Thomas, you poor bastard. You're getting the negative. I don't know what this does, but I'm kind of curious. This is so simplistic. I mean, not many people get denied by their deity, so the bailiffs keep turning up at my house. It's not me they want. Henry, listen, all Florida men should go to prison at least once in their lives. Just deal with it. The bailiffs didn't believe Henry and Henry had to sell their home to cover the debt. That's how it works over here. Every day we're turning chefs into homeless people. I love that it says total Florida men, 382. Slowly moving further and further toward the devil stamp. I wonder if you get a prize if you get all the way over there. Please make it impossible for people to leave the bathroom without washing their hands. I mean, I'm going to allow this because I want to know exactly what sort of powers I'm going to wield in order to force people to wash their hands. People using portable toilets are now stuck in a small toilet prison. I feel like I just had a slight lobotomy. What the hell happened here? Did I create some sort of alternate dimension? Did we simply change the government laws so now you go to toilet prison if you don't wash your hands? Please make the wasps leave me alone tomorrow. Ooh. Jonathan, I have bad news for you. The wasps are gonna go after you and your double chin. The wasps swarm Jonathan. On the plus side, you get two different types of punctuation. He's still smiling. My dad woke me up this morning asking for advice on how to fix his computer. Please remove him from the family. This kid's 13, Jesus. I like that simply because a family member requested his aid. He wants that person gone. Well, I shouldn't say a person, it's his dad. But yes, I'm gonna get rid of your dad for you. Ezra's father was arrested and sentenced to 11 years for dealings on the dark web. I'm kind of impressed. Ezra's father should be lucky he's still alive. Technically, he's still part of the family too. Just now he won't be around for 11 years. Finley Taylor asked, Asks, please remove my third nipple. I just realized Finley Taylor is six. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to know what's going to happen if I don't do this. Will he get a fourth nipple? Is it gonna like spread and mutate? Finley's third nipple began to spread and created a fourth nipple. It actually happened, yes. Finley's like a uh, like a tree, how they have rings for their age. See, he has nipples. <laughs> gonna get a new one every two years or so. I wish I was born handsome. I don't know if I can change this for you. Actually, I want to know what happens when I specifically don't change it for you. Leon ended up getting cosmetic surgery surgery as their prayer was not answered. At 13? First world problems. See, in school now, they're giving away school lunches and cosmetic surgery. I lost my child in a shop. Well, maybe you should have been paying more goddamn attention, Ella. She's an engagement manager. You know who she wasn't engaging with? Her child. I don't know what's gonna happen if I say no. Like, is something bad gonna happen to the child or Ella? Ella did not find their child. Well, what? What happened to him? Did he just become one with the shop? Ella's gonna go back like six years later. Her son's gonna be like living in a tent at a dick sporting goods. He'll be a teenager by this time. I'm starting to lose faith. Show yourself to me or I will start following Zen. Where's my lightning bolt? I don't even get out of bed until after 3 p.m. No. I will not bow down to pressure. That's an amazing response. <laughs> Sup, I want to be the biggest video game streamer in the world. You already have gray hair, so you're halfway there, but no. Frederick gave up after getting five views in a year. That's so legit, it made part of my soul die. I can't stand being overweight anymore. Please let me lose weight. He's a teddy bear surgeon? What the hell is this? What does this even mean? You know how they have like build a bear? When your bear isn't built right, you have to go to him to get him like plastic surgery. I mean, 
If he can perform liposuction on a bear, I guess we can give it to him too. Dylan lost a lot of weight and they are now a model. Dylan who? This guy's name isn't Dylan. Who the hell's Dylan? Was Dylan the teddy bear? These names aren't even close. This guy's name is Harvey Knight. Maybe my aim is just really shit. Like I tried to give this guy the prayer and it went to some other dude named Dylan. Help, my home is falling apart. Legal bank robber. <laughs> some of these are getting ridiculous. Just once, I want someone's house to fall on top of them. Is that so much to ask for? The house started to fall apart and had to be knocked down for safety reasons. Ezra is now homeless. This guy's name isn't Ezra. I'm screwing different people over at this point. I love it. This dude's like, can you fix my house? And I'm like, ah, uh, no. And then some other dude becomes homeless. I'm the worst god ever. It's not even my fault. Every once in a while, I see the testicle larger prayer. And I always say yes to this because I'm always curious as to what will happen to their testicles. Also, how come no one ever asked for the left testicle? What does the entire population of the planet Earth have small right testicles? Finley's testicle is now larger and is the same size as a magnet. What? What size magnet? Like the magnet that you use to stick your kid's report card to the refrigerator or like the magnet that's inside of a megaphone? This doesn't tell me anything. You should have said like, Finley's testicle is now larger and is the same size as a Belgian waffle or something. Then I would understand. I wish I was happy. That's not what we do here. Milo became sad. <laughs> It's so simple and like so depressing at the same time. I'm sorry, ask me for something else later. I probably still won't allow it to come true. Help me, I've been impregnated by my son. We, we've gone beyond Jerry Springer at this point because I'd like to mention that Zoe is 22. So how old is her son? I am not going to help you because I need to know where this leads. Maury needs content, all right? Zoe is inbred child was born with two heads. You can thank me later, Dateline. <laughs> uh, I haven't done my job as a god until I've created at least one mutant. I wish my mother-in-law would learn to be a nice person and appreciate people for who they are. <laughs> this is such a heartfelt prayer. I mean, I'm still not gonna allow it to happen, but it, it does sound very nice. Isabella says, the corner shop's cashier didn't sell me alcohol as I have no ID. Please, can you get them fired? Isabella, you're 16 years old, which means that's the perfect time to get started on the Bud Light train. Absolutely. If I have my way, they'll probably get hit by a car as well. The cashier got fired for doing their job correctly and fell into debt. The cashier is expecting a child. Wow, I like how it gave an, an extra kick in the balls at the bottom there. It's not too often that we ruin two lives for the price of one. Isabella, I hope you're happy. You just ruined this man's unborn child. I found phlegm in my drink. Please rain down on the person who did this. By rain down, you mean lightning, right? We don't injure people minorly in this religion. It's death or nothing. Hopefully we're gonna get some death. The next time the culprit went to do this, they were caught and beaten up. All right, an ass kicking isn't bad, but I'm hoping for something better next time. Someone kept killing me in an online game. Please show me where they live. Clara, you violent bastard. I mean, I have to do this. Clara received the address, but it turns out they were getting killed by their great grandfather. Clara, just because they're related to you, that doesn't make them exempt from the pain. Kill him. I've cemented my head inside of a coffee machine. Help me. How? How the hell does a professional snuggler get their head cemented inside of a coffee machine? I have to make you pay just because I I'm still trying to figure out how this happened in the first place. The fire brigade was called, but they're unable to help. It's not looking good for Ivy. The last thing you're going to snuggle is that sweet Starbucks right before it smothers you to death. Help me. I've been impregnated by my stepdad. What is with everyone getting pregnant? No, you must all live with the consequences of these failures. Zoe's inbred child was born with four legs. We're back to Zoe. That was the original girl. This is Mia. I like how Mia gets pregnant and Zoe has another inbred child. <laughs> we got one kid with two heads and one with four legs. Please make saber tooth tigers come back. Ella, you could have asked me for anything and you asked me to make saber tooth tigers come back. That is amazing. This is probably the dumbest request I've ever had. I have to have, it has to happen. They're no longer extinct. 
and are being used to feed third world countries. <laughs> saber tooth tigers have become a food source. What the hell? Eating saber tooth tigers and curly fries in third world countries. Adam White is 12 years old. He says, please give me the latest game console. Adam, you should be doing something more constructive with your time, like moving toward alcoholism. Adam got so angry with not receiving the new console, they took a sh** on the shop floor. What? This is the most savage 12-year-old child I've ever seen. I can't find my dildo anywhere. Please help me find it. Wow. I guess this is the best way to get to the front of the prayer line. I, okay. Arlo's partner found it under their bedside table. Of course they did. Wow. I've sunk to new lows today as a god. Please, can I pet my dog without it growling at me? Your dog may be growling at you because you're a terrible person. The dog bit Ella when they tried to stroke it. Unfortunately, it got put down. See, this is not bad because technically the blood isn't on my hands. It's on their hands. They're the ones that put it down. I like how this is leaning toward like the good place. I'm so glad we're using our godly powers for good reasons. My cat keeps knocking its litter tray over. Please make it stop. Do you want me to make your cat smarter or do you want me to make your cat dead? Because I don't think I can change animal intellect. The cat now poops on the litter once it has been knocked over. I mean, it's still using the litter then. I call this a win. I think I helped Myla out. So I answered this one about giving this kid the latest games console because I remember the other kid took a shit on the ground when we told him he couldn't have it. And this one says Alexander got so angry with not receiving the new console that they assaulted their step uncle. God, the results are worse when people just don't get the video game system they want than when people bully each other. My dad's not feeling well after cooking dinner for the family. Can you cure him? Wait a second, Grace Cotton, zombie. It's not like in school or project manager, their job title is zombie. I need to not cure him. I have to know if the world ends from this. Grace's dad was rushed into the hospital with their illness. Is this gonna create like a long lasting problem in the game, I wonder? My half brother has surgery today. I hope the operation goes okay. You're just telling me your feelings. You're not really asking for anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and deny this prayer. The operation ended up with a 300% mortality rate. Hell, there was only one person being operated on. After Jaden's relative, a nurse and a spectator all died. From what? Is this from the zombie plague? I want to destroy all humans. Sentient AI. I like that the murderous sentient AI is named Brian. <laughs> He's got an earring too. Well, I guess it's time to destroy all of humanity. <laughs> 500 internal server error. No, I got bait and switched. Brian, you suck at your job. Oh, Jesus. I think the sentient AI literally just destroyed the entire game. <laughs> the game just crashed. I can't do anything. <laughs> well, I guess the end of the world is soon at hand, everyone. Sorry. I handed the fate of mankind over to Skynet. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Prayer. Till next time, stay foxy. Much love.